So let's get some practice um, compressing and expanding logs, and then we'll work on a couple of examples. So right here we say express as a single log. So we want to take this whole thing here and smash it all into becoming one log using some of the properties that we learned in the last video. So since these are all log two, they all have to be part of the same log. You can't do this with logs of different bases. You can only do this with logs of the same base. What we can do is use our product rule, our quotient rule and to, to bring these together. So we remember that plus means that they were multiplied. So we can say log two, log base two of X times Y, right? And then this part is minus, so we'll leave that minus there for now, log base two of Z, Z divided by M because there's subtraction in there, right? So that's our quotient rule. But we're not done yet. We can simplify this even further by moving this, using this subtraction and doing another quotient rule. So we can say our final answer is log base 2 of xy divided by z over m. Now that's going to equal log base 2 of xy m over Z. And that is our final answer. So let's look at this one down here. We have two log five, log base five uh, of X to the fourth minus three log base five of X. So we can move the, let's, let's get, let's get the two into the exponent. So we're going to say log base five, and we're going to bring that two up here and raise it to that. So when we exponentiate an exponent, we multiply. So four times two is eight. So this is going to be log base five of x to the eighth minus three log five x. But we know the three can also become an exponent on the x. So we can do that. We can take our three and make it an exponent on the x. And now we can combine these two by with subtraction. We know it's actually division. Log base five of x to the eighth divided by x to the third, which will simplify to log base five of x to the fifth. And we're done. Let's expand this guy over here. Let's see if we can expand him. So log base three of 27 xy squared. Well, there's a lot of multiplication in there. So that means there's going to be a lot of addition. So we can say log base three of 27 plus log base three of x plus log base three of y squared. Are we done? Close. We can still expand this by taking the exponent and moving it out front, right? So we can say log base three of 27 plus log base three of x plus log plus two log of y. Again, we took the exponent and moved it out front. And last but not least, you can notice that this log base three of 27, three to what power equals 27? We know that's three to the third power. So this is actually evaluates to three plus log base three of X plus two log based Y. So we did a good job on that one. This video is running a little long, so we'll pick up these other examples later. Good job.